Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we're here. This is going to be week number two of the UBL, and we are up against Vepsis and his Helsinki High Dragons. And this is going to be a really, really crazy matchup, right? So Vepsis is consistently um, at the top of a lot of differential matches and on top of a lot of records in many seasons. And I've and I consistently feel like I've given him one some of the best matches of his seasons. But this is going to be a really scary kind of team that I have to come up against. And it's a team that I'm not sure how many answers I have. So we're going to try to just get into this matchup. But he has a lot of options here. A lot of which I just am curious to see how I deal with. And so much of this can be won or lost in kind of team building. Because he has some huge speed gaps. Where he has a lot of room to kind of play with scarves. Play with different speed options. And I try to play with certain creeps. But I mean honestly who knows whether or not. Uh, all of made those calls correctly whether or not he made those calls against me correctly um what kind of speed stats will each be running because i can't imagine a lot of our matchups are going to be just max speed on everything but uh we have a lot of kind of room here for, for creativity and it really depends on however we went into this uh team building process okay we are here i'm going to take an immediate screenshot of the team let's see let's see we will see the diggers be diggers be zero or uh sent scorch Rotom Frost, which I actually th genuinely thought was really strong against me. Uh, Togetic, which is fair, and and uh, Slowbro. Okay, so right off the bat, right off the bat, mostly everything I expected. I really did expect to see the Noivern. I really did expect to see the Noivern. Uh, Roserade would have been a huge problem. Uh, Rune Regis would have been a huge problem. Uh, Scrafty would have been really problematic as well. But you, can, but you guys can see, it's just a straight up banded... Um, banded Dra dragapult because his only fairy was the togetic so if we could kind of manage that um we'll be in a really decent position here um i kind of do want to lead off with it um and it does look like hmm i think i'm going to i think i'm going to i, I mean i really want to lead off with darmanitan um No, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make the Dragapult lead. I mean, it's a pretty standard lead. It's, it feels really standard. Oh, oh, and I should say that um, my 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 Gardevoir is here. Uh, it, it, it is assault vested, um, specifically to take three hurricanes from Noivern. So I kind of wanted it to be like a hard stop to to Noivern. Um, it doesn't look like it'll have that much opportunities. In fact, I can kind of make it a, a dedicated switch into to run of frost or Togetic or something like that. Um, it can it can manage a lot here not, now that it doesn't have to kind of deal with um, this Noivern threat. So even just as a de de dedicated um, switch into the Rotom Frost, it kind of does a decent amount for me here. And we just lead off with the Rotom Frost. I think he expected me to, to kind of want to lead off with this. This thing could be Scarfed. I do have to definitely respect the Scarf, and I think I will just at least kind of scout out a little bit in this early game and just uh, dial, in, dial that in as quickly as I can because I don't... I, I mean, I, I just have to worry about so much here. I, I think he Volt Switch is knowing that I have to kind of respect that here. Um... But I will be levitate for, for whatever that's worth. So it will does just hard withdraw. So let's see here. Uh, goes into the Togetic. So I really want to get a, off a strong Moonblast here. Um, I don't think really anything wants to take a really strong Moonblast. Togetic. I mean, Senta Scorch is a huge problem. Senta Scorch is going to be a huge problem. Uh, I could Psy Shock as well, kind of. No, I think I'm just going to win Blast here. Um, but, you know, the the interesting thing here is that... I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's not just Scorch. Okay, that's... I mean, I mean, ultimately, it's going to be fine, I guess. Um, is there a switch worth making here? Probably not. I mean, probably just damage off with the Psy Shock will be... Will be the play here. Um... I need to keep pressure on this on this thing as much as I can because that's really going to be I really need to get like offensive momentum momentum happening and I think um just kind of keeping this thing weakened even if it will probably be sleep talk um is kind of gonna be what I want what I'm gonna want to do here but uh he's thinking a lot about this he knows that I have a, a number of options here uh there is the side shock it does it does a very very decent amount uh, does knock me off, so there's so there goes my EV, but ultimately it's gonna be fine. Uh, that's slightly more damage than I would have expected, but um, it looks like I do have to sign shock again. It doesn't really have solid switches in. 
he might let this thing go. It, I, don't, I don't think it really matters. Um, he, he should also see that I am um, very offensive. I am modest. Um, I, I, I basically made this thing as strong as possible while still be able while still being able to take three moon blasts or sorry three hurricanes from the Neuvern. But uh, now that with this thing gone, that is pretty significant for my for my Darmanitan. Um, he could have been trying to weaken this for. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to be put in a really interesting position. It goes into this thing. I mean, I I I think I I think I have like a pretty dedicated switch in here. I have to go into this thing here. Uh and I do have a sleep talking um uh potato here. I think it's I think it's ultimately going to be the best option for me. I think he does have a, a, a some decent options to kind of switch into, but those I can hit on the toxic, so Whenever I, whenever I rest sleep talk, if I hit, I'm either gonna obviously there's a chance to hit rest, but I'm gonna either hit earth power or or toxic, which really hits his entire team. If I can make those calls correctly, and I think I'm gonna get off a toxic because no matter what he wants to switch into, I think it's going to be really really strong. Gets hits me with a taunt, which is really interesting to me. I mean, obviously preventing um stealth rocks here. But it does allow me to earth power, although I think he's going to know that and go into the Togetic. I think I have to pressure the Togetic, realistically. Although he could knock off. I don't know. He could knock off. I don't know what's worth it here. I really don't know what's worth it. But what's the worst that the Togetic can do if it gets in here? What's the worst that the Togetic could do if it gets in here? Oh, I think if anything, he would want to bring in the Rotom Frost. I think... I really think this is the, this is the best play I have available to me. Actually, this could be a solid middle ground as well. I think I, I think I make this play. I think I make this play. It's it, it's it's solid enough middle ground. Uh, and yeah, th yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and yeah, I probably should have gone in, into the Darmanitan. It's probably a misplay. Probably just an. I, I probably could have been more uh, uh, aggressive on that turn, but I think this is as good a middle play as I can be offered right now. And I can U turn out here, and I think that's going to be what I have to do. Realistically, if he goes in, if he go, he could go in in the zero aura. Um, I don't know if he really wants to take damage from this thing. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It, this thing could be assault, assault vested for all I know. I really don't know anything about this thing. There's the U turn. Uh, and what what would that allow me to go into? I mean, part of me just wants to straight up go into the Darmanitan. I think I, I I could definitely see. I could also definitely see a Volt Switch here as well. I could also definitely see a Volt Switch here as well. I mean, would I make this play? Would I make this play? I, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of want to make this play. Uh, I, I think, I, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, there, yeah, there's the Volt Switch, which is perfectly fine. And this is either gonna force him to, to raw Blizzard. Or switch out into something that I think my Darmanitan could take advantage of here. Um, it does look like he goes for the Raw Blizzard. By every indication. Or perhaps a Will-O-Wisp. A Toxic maybe? Yeah, goes for the Raw Blizzard. Avoid, I avoid it. And now I get a really strong Flare Blitz here. Although, I mean, he does have the obvious play of that Slowbro. Slowbro is a super obvious play here. Do I try to play off of that? I kind of don't think that I do. I'm going to see if I can hit the Flare Blitz. Let's see. Let's... Let's withdraw. Do we see the Slowbro? Yeah, that's probably going to be the Slowbro. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. So from here... Rocky Helmet as well. Okay, that's fair. From here, I'm really tempted to make this play. Although, I could just do this. He could teleport super easily. Do I really care if he teleports? If he teleports, then I definitely don't want to go into... Yeah, yeah, I definitely make this play if he's going to, to go for the teleport play. I think the te I, I think he 100% teleports here. I think he plays this exactly the way that he played it against Johnny GB. And um, I will be getting re regenerated, which is cute. Um, but yeah, th there's a teleport. I think that's fine. I think... The obvious play would be the Zeraora. I think the obvious play would, would be the Zeraora. 
Um, I'm not really designed to take hits from from the Aurora terribly well, I, and I don't think he has rockers. I mean, uh, Doug, D Dickersby is a potential spiker, but you never know. You never know. I really should have made that U-turn. That U-turn play was a really silly play for me to not make, especially because um, it does give me so many options. But who knows? Let's go into the Diggersby. Let's go into the Diggersby. Now, I mean, we're in an interesting kind of 50-50 here. I think... I mean, I think if nothing else, I prevent... I prevent Swords Dance, right? I think no matter what, it was for an Ice Punch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he definitely expected me to expect the, the, the Body Slam or, or whatever the case may be. Um, now, if he's Bluffing Scarf, that would be bonkers to me. That would be absolutely nuts to me. Um, and if he honestly expects that I'm going to click U-turn and stays in, I mean, that would honestly be bonkers. Although, although now that he knows that I would be, that he would be locked in Ice Beam, so that'd be pretty, I don't think that'd be optimal in this situation here. But, um, I'm gonna have to actually take advantage of the slow bro. Um, and I think that's going to mean that I go into, that I go into the... Uh, the, uh, Helilisk. Um, and I could click, I mean, I mean, he's seen me click U-turn already. Actually, let me see. If, assuming a Slowbro here, right? Slowbro. If it's a defensive Slowbro. How much of the way there does a Dark Pulse get me? Dark Pulse is a potential KO being Specs. So I think I make this play. Because even if he hard withdraws, um, it does invite in... It invites this in. Okay. Okay, well, I, I have to assume that this would be a 2 KO. It's closer to a KO. It's a very dirty roll. But I think it's a dirty roll that we kind of go for here, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so very curious to see if this thing is scarfed or not. But, yeah, Dark Pulse was always going to, was going to be the best middle ground play that I had available to me. He could know that I'm Specs by now, and he could go into Togetic right away. Um, that would be definitely, that would definitely be a play. But, yeah, I, I did not get that roll well. I did not do well on that roll. And that roll... And now this is even an even worse roll, but I think I just continue to click Dark Pulse. Um, now that he's a little bit healthier, he might... I don't know. He, he might have been doing this to kind of ensure that I am 100% in Quick Attack range. Um, I guess we'll just have to see about that. But... The bigger question is... If this thing goes down... Goes for the Vault Switch, okay. I definitely think that we see the Togetic come out here. And if we do see the Togetic... I mean, if we do see the Togetic, I, I think I just go directly into the... Into the... Goes into this thing, okay. I mean, I still make the same play, right? I still definitely go into this thing. And then I might... I might honestly pull a double here well no he's gonna want to taunt me right although he, although now that he knows that I, now that he knows that i know that he is taunt he might um just go straight up for a for another play but i don't let me think through this he i mean i mean he would have to go in into the togetic we'd have to go into the togetic here but he but he's seen toxic so then the togetic gets toxic it goes for the taunt, so I will get some damage off on this, on this thing. I will be able to to click Earth Power. There's the uh, Shaka, which I don't think matter. I think I think this will be a two fail regardless. All right, maybe not. I th okay, maybe I guess not. This thing is very bulky, but ultimately I don't think it'll matter a whole heck of a lot. Um, if the Togetic does come in, right? I mean, I don't think I have to respect the Togetic a whole heck of a lot. 
Although the Okay. Okay. So again, I do have two immunities, and we have to play these mind games again as to which immunity I would prefer to go into. Although Ice Punch covers them both. Ice Punch covers them both. Um How would I play this? I mean, I really want to make this play. This thing is really only here for the Diggersby. So, if I make this play, right? Actually, I Ice Punch really hits my entire team really, really well. But, I think what this is going to do... Oh, yikes, that is a lot of damage. I think as long as I get um, a reasonably free play... No, this is just a really bad position to be in. I don't think there's. I think this digger's be gonna is gonna be really difficult to, to deal with. It just gets a KO every time it comes in. I think. I think. I mean, this is this is this is the play that I obviously have to make. And then I can double. Because there's gonna be no point in taking the. Unnecessary rocket helmet damage. And then from there. From there, I click Volt Switch. The obvious possibility is the. Is the. Play into Zero Aura. I think I make this play. Last time he just went into. Yeah, I think he sacks off the Rotom here. I think he sacks off the Rotom here. Does hard switch, but I can't imagine he goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this finally gets sacked off. And. I can go into the Darmanitan, which means that he would have to. I don't think he has an option if I go into Darmanitan to, to go into anything but the the Slowbro. And if that's the case, then I mean I could always make the play back into I could always make the play back into. What options does he have now, right? Um, I think I just click U-turn here, right? Could he hard switch out again? No, he would 100% click teleport. He 100% clicks teleport. So what does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? What does he teleport into? Um, well, if I go into... If I go into this, then he goes into... Hmm. Yeah, teleport's just too strong here. I think I... I think I... Yeah. I guess I had to take the chance that he hard switches, but realistically, he never would. And Rocky Helm is doing a lot at this point. I think, if anything, I go into Dragapult now. Which probably baits in the... The... It probably baits in the... Diggersby. And then from there, I don't know what I do. Because Diggersby is just too strong against me. Oh, goes into this. Okay. Okay. Well, I, ha I mean, I definitely just click U turn. I definitely just click U turn. 
And then that would allow me to go into my Stun Fisk. And then, yeah, all right. This just gets in Diggersby, and Diggersby B wins. Diggersby just kind of wins. Um, what would I do? I mean, I have to. I kind of have to be confident that I could take an Ice Punch, right? That's the only way that I don't give him much here. And even then, I have to KO here. Which I definitely don't. But... It looks like I should take one hit. Looks like I should take one hit. If I go for the Earth Power, no, I just have—I just have to deal some damage to this thing. You now he goes for the Earthquake, yeah, because now Earthquake just kind of wins here. And yeah, I—I—I I, I, I really can't do anything against this. I really can't do anything against this anymore. Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but I could. Yeah, I don't even think I, I leave this with another KO. I could force him to go into the slow bro again, which would let my which would let my Dragapult in, and I could at least get no, because then yeah, he always has, he always has answers to, to what to my whatever my Dragapult wants to do. He always has he always has an immunity for my Dragapult, so I can't do make that play. Um. And he also has he also has counterplay against my against my uh healer list. So I can't imagine coming out of this with, with any more KOs than I already have. But I think at the very least I think at the very least what Dragon Ball allows me to do I think I have to start making plays with Dragapult here. I think I have to start making plays with Dragapult here. And I could get a U-turn off here. And we can see wherever that guy is. I mean, realistically, he, he has to somewhat respect the Dragon Darts, right? Which should be an issue for him, I think. It should be an issue for him. Because at this point, Dragon Darts, yeah. And at this point, Dragon Darts should do a lot. Um, but this would allow in this thing, which again gets into a 50-50 Where, um, if I click Volt, if I click Thunderbolt on it, it, it just allows in the the uh, Zero Aura. So could you turn on this? And then that gets me against the Aura, and then I go, I, I go into, I go into Darmanitan, and I have to U-turn again because the Slowbro comes in, and it's just an entire ordeal. But if I click Dark Pulse as the Zero Aura comes in, then at least that's me a KO, right? Potentially. Even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, I think, I think Dragapult gets me there, right? He could call this. I mean, if he really calls this, I mean, he. he I, I was gonna say he, he could let this thing go down and still be in a very comfortable position, but that might not be true. I mean, I, I mean, he still wins it regardless, I think. But he's, but he's not in a dominating position anymore. Um. But every play from here on out is gonna be 50-50. Does withdraw. I have to imagine we see the zero. No, okay. I mean, if this could somehow net a KO, then that would be miraculous. Also, a really dumb note, but man, a crit, a crit could have actually done it here. 
a crit could have actually done it here. But it's oh, this thing is not scarfed. This thing's not scarfed. I don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't. I mean, he has to know that I'm specs, right? I don't know why he wouldn't just double back into the Togetic. Maybe he thought that I would make a play. I I I thought that this thing was scarfed, and the fact that it's not scarfed means a lot. So it, so it must have been banded, right? I think I have to assume that that, that it was banded. Which opens up a lot. Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't make this play just as a... Yeah, I don't I, I don't quite understand that one yet. But I can definitely make this play here, right? And now I can very freely Phantom Force. Where I couldn't before. And now nothing is really going to appreciate Phantom Forces. Um, He goes into this thing. I have to imagine that I take a knockoff, right? Just a standard. Especially because this thing is so bulky. Right? This thing is so bulky. And I think... I think I just clicked Dragon Darts because if the... Um... Is that true? Do I click Dragon Darts? Yeah, I think I have to click Dragon Darts. Because I think the slow bro... I, yeah, yeah. I think there's so many things that, that can happen. Yeah. Okay, so he's... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Could this be a 2-KO? I mean, if it's a 2-KO, then I would be blown away. This is banded. This is banded. Adamant. No, okay. Oh my god, is it? This looks like another dirty roll, but if we can get this dirty roll, then I think Darmanitan... I think we might be able to pull it off in the end, right? Especially because, again, that... That 0-R was so bulky. That 0-R was so bulky. That... I think he doesn't have enough attack investment to kind of KO. He, I, what he really had to do was was again. Uh, yeah, no, now, now I guess to make this. Yeah, because yeah, now he knows that I'm banded. Yeah, okay. No, that's totally fair. That's totally totally fair. But I mean, this allows this thing to come in, and then I can then I have to start making plays. I think I think realistically, I have to click U-turn because. He could assume that I'm going to click a, a an electric move. He has to assume that I'm going to click a, click an electric move. I can click U-turn. And then when the Zero Aura comes in, that's when I bring in Darmanitan. And that's when I start... Okay. Alright. I have, have I even seen more moves from this thing? I, I think I've just seen the Baton Pass and the... Yeah, I think I have to give this thing up. He knows this thing is Specs. And then I really don't have solid answers anymore. Actually, could Phantom Force get me there? Actually, okay, okay, okay. I have to think this through. I have to think this through. I can... I can U-turn here. I can U-turn here. I, I probably get taken out? Oh, okay. Okay. I can U-turn here. Togetic. What the heck is doing more damage? I mean, Darmanitan still does a nuts amount of damage. Um. Or does Phantom Force do more? No, Flare Blitz does more. And I think if I call the situation cor correctly, where where this um this zero or is isn't as offensive as I think it is, then then that means that if the zero or is not as offensive as I think it is, then I don't have to play as preciously with my with my dragapult because if my dragapult takes a hit, then it can potentially deal with the Zero Aura and deal damage to the Slowbro, which is the damage that I need for Healless to clean up, I think, is how that works out. Although, it's going to be tough, and I think I might have screwed myself on time, because I think time might actually be the the, the definitive thing here. It goes into this thing. I should have played more, more aggressively around this. I, I really should have clicked U-turn. I really should have clicked U-turn. 
Um, and realistically, I think he... I just go down here. Yeah, never mind. I just go down here. But what this allows me to do... What this allows me to do is click... Is go into this. Um... He could absolutely... I mean, now he has to... Now he has to respect my U-turn play. So now I think... I mean, this is definitely a risk. This is 100% a very, very strong risk. But now that I've shown that I'm that I'm able to U-turn here, yeah, I think yeah, he has to respect it, which means that I can do this, and then and then it allows me to go into Dragapult, and then Dragapult can click Phantom Force, deal enough damage. Well, no, I think I think if the Toga, I think if the Togetic comes in, I think I have to click U-turn. Assuming if the Togetic comes in, no, but he has to bring out. He has to has to has to bring out the the zero or, or yeah okay um i think i think i phantom force here because i think what phantom force does i, I think he baton passes i 100 percent think he's clicking baton pass here and if he does click baton pass then this is the best play i could have possibly made yeah oh he just goes for the dazzling gleam okay now i oh and this also sees me on time because i don't have to click any moves so that's fun But actually, this is this is honestly on, also really bad because this is potentially going to put me in range of a knockoff, which is potentially a game losing play. That potentially loses me the game if this puts me in range. It depends on how much damage. Is, oh yeah, that's mm, that just loses me the match. That just loses me the match. But it will bring it down to a 1-0, which again, I do always. Bring Vepsis to his closest matches of the season. I think I think I had to click U-turn. Well, no, I think I think ultimately, I think ultimately, Dazzling Gleam probably does enough damage to the Hilo list where it takes it out, and then from there, and then from there, um, and then from there, I just I just lose. I just, I. The only way that I win this is if this Zero Ore is Scarfed, right? And it can't Scarf into... I don't know, man. I don't think I ever win it. Um, I mean... Knockoff just does it there, yeah. Um, and I couldn't have locked myself into Facade because Facade doesn't do enough damage there. The only thing that I could pray is that Hilalus somehow takes, takes a knockoff here. But, okay, so a no investment Dazzling Gleam maxes out at 40 points of damage. I, so I always took one. I always took one. But then but then I got caught in the same position where I will never know whether or not to to click. Yeah, no. I think I always lose based on those two mons that were left. But um, I I brought it to as close as I possibly could. It was another 1-0, another kind of a heartbreaker. Um, if I realized earlier on that that... Um, that that Diggersby was not scarfed, I think I would have been in a great position. Um, there's a lot of things that I could have done differently, but overall, like I said, I I'm, I'm I'm really happy with the way that I tend to play against Vepsis, and this was a really fun way to kind of have this match go. My Dracovolt did so so much. Every, every just everyone on the team really tried to pull, pull to pull it back as much as possible, but there were so many things. I mean I mean the taunt. The zero R having taunt was huge, and not knowing what was scarf like the digger. I don't think he had a scarf. The diggers was really hard to play around. But honestly, as when, when the Santa Scorch went down, I I thought there was this game would be so difficult to win, or so this game would be so difficult to lose. If I could if I could have gotten more damage off on the Togetic, and I think I would have been in a position. Actually, I don't even know. So let's see. So assuming like a super super bulky zero or it does look like knockoff was always doing like around half to, to my healer list but i'm more concerned about my dragapult and it does look like knockoff kind of maxes out at like 73 percent assuming like no attack investment which i think it had to be because it, that was super bulky but regardless i mean i mean even let's give it max attack max attack jolly maxes out at 89 percent so i definitely would have been able to, to kind of manage that if I could have made it out of that Togekiss situation with full HP on my Dragapult, but it was so difficult with, with the Volt Absorb and me being able to deal with the Togetic. But yeah, I mean, I played that as well as I could have. I think there was no way that I could have um, 
built or done anything differently so one thing that i really struggled with was whether or not to scarf my hill list and bring double scarf which i really came close to doing but at the same time i don't think my hill my heal list would have been so hindered in terms of damage output that i don't think i would i would have gotten any of those rolls like that really strong damage against the diggers bee or that really strong damage against the rotom in particular so it would have been really different i don't know how how it would have been different but i think i made a lot of correct calls and i think i really came close to, to, to winning this um, but that's going to be we too. It's going to be another heartbreaker. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL and um, more stuff to come. But once again, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm once again out.